Hello. Remembering is such a powerful tool. It can take us back to people and places and events that were formational in our lives. Remembering can comfort us and launch us into a bright new future. If you joined us for worship yesterday by our broadcast, you know that we continued with a, an installment of our Mr. Rogers series. I even reenacted a monologue that Mr. Rogers offered back in 1992, and I, and I used several objects. I used this picnic basket. I used it because it's an important part of my memory. This picnic basket has been a part of my life as long as I can remember. It was always in our family home. It's always been there. And so uh, it was important for me to use it. Also, I used a book. I talked about a book. And this book is Doxology. It was written by Dr. Jeffrey Wainwright, a leading British theologian, uh, a great scholar. Dr. Wainwright died just this past March, March 20th, and I was one of his students. And so I used this book to remember Dr. Frank Wainwright and to, uh, to uh, pay tribute to him in my own small way. This Sunday at Pulaski Heights, we will observe Aldersgate Sunday on May 24th, 1738, exactly 282 years ago, John Wesley walked into a prayer meeting on Aldersgate Street in London, and there he heard someone read from the preface of Luther's uh, commentary on the Romans, and it was in this place that Wesley felt his heart strangely warmed. He felt and knew for the first time in a powerful way that Christ had died and died for him alone. It inspired him, it motivated him, and it really launched what we know today as the global Methodist movement. Our sisters and brothers around the world will be celebrating this day this Sunday, and I invite you to join us as we remember this uh, benchmark uh, event in the history of our church and as a reminder of the future that God holds for us as well. God bless you.